Good morning, it's time. It's the Jeffrey Lampkin Show. Listen, coming up on today's show, I told y'all, season six, we are back into the swing of things, second episode, and I've got the ladies in the house. Now, the presidential debate took place this week. You were following me on social media. Thank you so much for all the love, but I told you Bree Maxwell was coming back, and she's here with all of your political commentary. Plus, Arthur LaToya Pugh, you remember her from season one and season three. Well, she's back again, and she's going to tell you about a new project that she has developed, Baptized in dirty waters and then supernatural faith you see me surrounded by all these good t-shirts that's right holistic living expert chemistry diamond is in the house and she's going to talk with us a little bit about holistic living and having that supernatural faith and what's coming up on october 22nd so listen here we go it's time for the ride your coffee cups are up your pinkies are out it's time for you to get lamped come on good morning <laughs> Just for the you, smile and laugh, cause God loves you. Get up and get lamped, 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 lamped. The Jeffrey Lampkin. <laughs> Somebody turn the lamp on. Good morning. Welcome back to the Jeffrey Lampkin Show. Listen, put your coffee cups down. We have got lots to talk about. Now, of course, in season five, we introduced to you all a political correspondent and you fell in love with her. I can't even go on the streets without somebody saying, where's Bree? It's almost like, where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Well, guess what? <laughs> season six is she's back. Bree hey. Maxwell, how I'm, are you? I am great. I'm Listen, so happy to be back. I'm happy that you are back, honey. You've been all over the place. You were at the DNC. Yes. You've been running around here with all of the campaigns. Of course, you were a very avid supporter of um, Senator Bernie mm -hmm. Sanders, and you really worked hard on that campaign. And of course, you've now shifted in supporting the Democratic Party at large and yes. doing a lot of things in the state. So first, before we get into the debate review, fill us in on you. What's been happening over the summer? Where have you been? What are you doing now um, as far as elections and everything? Well, the major thing is I cut my hair, as you guys can yes. see. Yes. So, you know when they say a lady cuts her hair, she's about to do something revolutionary. Well, she did, you did so. something because you put some pictures out over yes. the summer as well. I was like, come on here, Bree. <laughs> Bree was giving it to the people. So I'm building a political blog, okay. and I'm also building a political website. Mm -hmm. So those are the two things that I'm working on right now. Um, I'm studying for the LSAT to hopefully get in law school soon. So that's the only thing that's going on with me besides I went to the DNC and I had a ball. I wow. had a phenomenal time. Mm -hmm. I met other um, political correspondents and other TV personalities mm -hmm. that just, you know, solidified that that's where I need to be. That's where you be. need to be and that's mm -hmm. what you want to, and one thing that we saw, we saw a lot of you on air. <laughs> MSNBC, <laughs> CNN, they kept showing yes. you, especially when they got to the South Carolina part. It's almost like you were positioned in the right place at the right time. Would you recommend the DNC for uh, people who are definitely interested in politics or any mm -hmm. of those Republican National Convention, whichever one that they're affiliated with? Yeah, because it's so much going going on from mm -hmm. 7 a.m. to 3 o'clock in the morning. There's mm -hmm. always something going on. You need to take a five-hour energy drink because you're not going to get sleep. Wow. So my days, my Monday started at 7, mm -hmm. but my Tuesday started at 5 because I had two press interviews at 6.30. Wow. So it's so much to do. They have trainings. They have seminars. They have convention. So it's, it's always something going on. So see, we've just shown that she's definitely qualified, but y'all knew that from last sem um, last semester, last year, <laughs> last season, y'all knew that. Let's talk about the election. So of course, we are um, less mm -hmm. than 50 days away yes. from being in the heat of everything. November 8th is coming. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton mm -hmm. versus the Donald Trump. Um, <laughs> the eyes on the Donald Trump. Yes. Talk to us real quick about, about what we're seeing so far and what has um, expounded since the summertime has come in. Well, this is an election like no other election mm -hmm. ever. For one, we have 
the qualified person who has the resume, who mm -hmm. has all the experience, who has traveled to hundreds of countries, mm -hmm. who has been doing negotiations, she she is the American dream, and she has done everything that she can to take this country forward right. from being a first lady, mm -hmm. a governor's wife, mm -hmm. a senator, an attorney for working with kids' rights, mm -hmm. women's rights, and now we have this businessman mm -hmm. who thinks just because he has business acumen that that's what we need to take this country forward, and that is not what we need. We need career politicians to take this country forward. We need someone with executive experience, not someone who has a business background. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But what do we say? Okay, here's the thing. She has experience. She mm -hmm. does. And of course, you know I'm with her. Yep. She has experience. But there are people out there who are saying, yeah, she has experience, but she lies. She doesn't have integrity. What do we say to something like that? And how can Hillary actually fix that so that the people will believe what she's saying? Because of course, the debate just took place and people were saying she still doesn't seem authentic, especially a lot of your supporters, your mm -hmm. Bernie Sanders supporters, they're not supporting her. How can we get them on, on board with that? They have to look at what we have in front of us. You have to look at the issues that we have in front of us. Mm -hmm. It's quite obvious that Donald Trump is a racist and a bigot and a sexist. Oof. Why do you want someone like that running this country? Mm -hmm. For one, we're raising daughters, we're raising our nieces, our granddaughters. Do you think that they need to grow up in a country like that? He has got the endorsement of the police union. There's nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. But it is something wrong with that when we're in this when we're going through this thing in this country now with all these black men getting killed, mm -hmm. especially with the recent incidents last week. What do you say to Donald Trump? Because, of course, you know, he did bring Omarosa aboard um, to help, um, you know, solidify his place within the African-American community. So what do you say to Donald Trump? Because right now he, you know, he's trying to say that he is um, for the African-American people, that he believes in the African-American base. What do you say to, to, to him and, and to what he is doing? He was at our church. If he was for the African-American community, he would have discriminated against them years ago wow. when it came to the housing discrimination that bill that he had to mm -hmm. go through. So no, he's not for the African-American community. Everyone has that token African-American outreach person because our vote is important. Mm -hmm. Without our vote, you cannot win. So that's why he's still polling at 1%. Now you do have independent um, Gary Johnson, I believe mm -hmm. is his name, who is making a lot of headway and a lot of the Bernie Sanders supporters are going over to him. Why is that? Well, a lot of them are going to him and they're going to Jill Stein. Okay. And they're going to those two people. Now, fill us in on both of them because I'm, okay. I'm not, I've heard about Jill, but I'm not really familiar with her. So I know I want my viewers to be informed and to be educated. So tell us about both of them. Well, Gary Johnson is a libertarian. Mm -hmm. Jill Stein is with the Green Party. Okay. She's a career doctor. Um, Gary Johnson has absolutely no foreign policy experience. Okay. So that should let you know there we don't need him as president. Because, because... then they asked him a question that some... yes, they asked he him didn't something know he didn't know what it's... A place in Syria. Right. He, it, he didn't know what it was. So it was kind of like, mm -hmm. whoa, but you want to be the president of the United States. And you definitely should be informed. But yep. Donald Trump has had those moments too where he's blundered. Mm -hmm. He wasn't informed on mm -hmm. what was taking place or what was happening. I think with Donald Trump, he's just awakened a sleeping giant within the Republican Party. They've just been so upset and so bitter for the past eight years that we have this smart African-American man running this country. Mm -hmm. And the truth of the matter is a lot of power is being taken out of the white man's hand. Wow. And you have to remember that white men or the male conservative has run this country for years and is slowly getting out of their hands. Mm -hmm. So it's like, okay, that's one reason why the Republican Party has been upset. But besides that, Donald Trump does not have the experience nor the background to run this country. But why are the polls, here's the thing, and I understand that, I, Brie, I, I see that as well. However, the polls keep saying, you know, that there's this dead heat race. When we look at those swing states like mm -hmm. Pennsylvania, Ohio, they always say whoever wins Ohio wins the election. Yeah. Donald Trump and a lot of the polls are leading right now um, in the Ohio um, area. What do we say to that? Well, one reason is because a lot of Democrats are supporting Donald Trump. Like, a lot of people who supported Bernie Sanders mm -hmm. are supporting Donald Trump because they figured that's a way to keep Hillary out of office, which is a very asinine thing to do. Right. And, and a lot of that, he's going out on the college campuses. Like, this morning I was watching MSNBC, and mm -hmm. a lot of college kids was like, we need to get career politicians out of office and get more business-minded people in office, mm -hmm. which a business-minded person does not have the political background to take this country where it needs to go. And so the debate happened, of course, mm -hmm. on Monday, mm -hmm. um, most watched debate in American history. Um, and uh, how, how would you grade the performances? Donald Trump, Hillary Clinton, how would you grade their performances? I would give Hillary A plus, 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 plus. Um, I think she did, she did, I mean, she's great, uh -huh. period. She's smart. Do you she's... think she was too polished? No, I okay. think she does exactly how she needed to be because okay. what we need, we don't need to 
You can sit there and be prim and proper all day long, but right. what matters is what comes out of your mouth. Right. And she did that. And we saw how he was a firecracker. Mm -hmm. He basically had to keep himself calm. What I was surprised about, he was kind of, you know, polished on some of the issues, mm -hmm. so they did train him well mm -hmm. that way. But no, we're still with her, and we got to get her in November 8th. I think, it, it, and very, very, very quickly, I know we got to go, but I think what was so ironic was you said something that's true. When you start out, it was fine, but of course, you're standing up there 90 minutes. Of mm -hmm. course, a sheep is going to show its true colors, yeah. and eventually, he just kind of lost it. Everything was gone. Um, so the next debate, is it the vice presidential debate? Is that the um, next one that comes out? I'm not sure when the next one is. Okay. I know there's one October the 9th. And there are two other um, mm -hmm. presidential debates that are going to happen. Listen, Bree Maxwell is going to be back. We're going to have more. We're talking about this election. But above all, you have until October 8th to go vote. You need to make sure that you are registered to do that. Listen, keep it right here. When we come back, author Latoya Pugh is in the house, and she has a new book that you are going to want to know about. Your coffee cups are up, your pinkies are out, and you're getting lamp. Good morning. Jeffrey <laughs> Cannon and Graves is a proud sponsor of the Jeffrey Lampkin Show. Located at 1837 Wilson Road in Newberry, Cannon and Graves has the perfect certified used car for you. Their extensive inventory has something in every price range, and they can get everyone financed, regardless of credit. All cars come with a warranty to give you the peace of mind you deserve. Come see Steve and Reggie, and find your new car at Cannon and Graves. Good morning. We're back here on the Jeffrey Lampkin Show. Listen, put your coffee cups down. You know, we're in season six, but I'm still bringing back all of my favorites. So, of course, an author, she is one of the originators when people started writing books and bringing it to, to, to local area. And she is one of the pioneers. And so many of you have followed her and kept up with her. And she is back with a new book. She's an author. She's a mother. She's a motivational speaker, a singer, and a playwright. Latoya Pugh is in the house. My sister, how you doing? Lampkin. How I'm you great. feeling? I'm great. Come on. Come on now, hair looks there. Come on, cat Thank suit. You. Come on you know now. How we do you it. are with a new attitude. That's right. I absolutely that's love right. it. How are you feeling? I am well. Talk how to us you? about the journey because, of course, oh. you have been riding. You have taken a break. You have um, had your children. You raised two girls, twins, who are now flourishing in the world. Yes, you have one are. more daughter. You've been living. I have. And then life brought circumstances mm. and different things, and you still haven't stopped. That's right. And so you well, talk that's to right. us a little bit. Catch the viewers up. Well, um, just like you said, I've been writing, took breaks, life happened, mm -hmm. and I'm smiling. Wow. I'm living. Joy is something different from being happy. Wow. And I have that. Well, let me ask you this question, Toya, because, because of course, now we talk about no cross, no crown. Right. So thinking about your life and, and circumstances and situations, when you wrote No Cross, No Crown, did you believe that it was actually going to, that your life would reflect this title, that you would actually have to go through things in order to receive your award? At that time, no, I did not. But after this project was done, mm -hmm. I can definitely see um, how therapeutic and, and how everything that transpired was for a particular mm -hmm. reason. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's just been ama an amazing journey, an amazing journey. What is your, your, your desire for writing books? Where does that come from? Because you get this desire that you want to write books. And of course, you've written three books um, already, but we're going to, I'm, uh, and this is the very first one. I think many of you got it because we actually gave free copies of this right. one away to the viewers. So No Cross, No Crown, definitely one of the greatest books that I've ever read and right. really love. So where Thank do you get you. this inspiration from? Because you you written, you wrote two books, you were good. Right. And you decided to come back and- That's right. What, what where does it come? Like you just well, have a moment? I can definitely tell you that this is not something that I chose for myself. Wow. Writing is not hard wow. um, for me, but it's a gift. Mm -hmm. And I believe that a gift is supposed to be given. You're mm -hmm. not supposed to keep it for mm -hmm. yourself. And I have been commanded to tell the truth. And wow. so if I have a testimony and I refuse to testify, it's no good. Wow, and listen. So that's what I'm doing. It can't hurt. Uh, it can't help anyone. It can only hurt if that's you don't it. share that's right. what it needs to be. So that's you right. went from no cross to no crown, and after that, you went to a sinner's prayer. Yeah. A sinner's prayer. So Man. here's the thing. Toya, you're not a sinner, honey. You, you living. You're doing your thing. You're looking good. You, you're living life. Right. Life is great. Right. So people will be like, no, she writing books. She's an author. She's out there. Right. But you're saying I'm still a sinner who is saved by grace. That's right. That's Through right. We, we all are. Mm -hmm. We all are. But we're covered by the blood. And so the things that uh, we go through or the things that's going on with us, if there's going to be a change in our life, it's going to be God that does it. Wow. It's not going to be us that changes anything. And as long as you 
you try to be a good person and you walk the best that you can, mm -hmm. you know, just God is going to do it. How much of God your books are based on your life or either the lives of your friends? Do you like sometimes like hear their stories and it's inspiration? Are they based on true stories or are they just like circumstances? It's a mix of everything. Well, like I said, I have been commanded to tell the truth. Mm -hmm. So everything I write is true. Wow. Some of the some of the things are um, specifically attached to me, but mm -hmm. Um, more so people that I bumped into, stories that I've heard, mm -hmm. things that I've read, or things that I've seen. Wow. Have you ever thought about taking your books and turning them into a stage play or I, anything of that nature? I am on it right now. Come on now. I have just, I have just established my company, Spilled Inc. Wow. LLC. And uh, the third book, Baptizing Dirty Water. That's the one that, that's listen, what we get into. Listen, this needs to be somebody's play right here. <laughs> Baptized in Dirty Waters. Talk to us about this book. Because you know, a lot of times now, when you hear the, when you hear Baptized in Dirty Waters, you think about people who actually um, decide to, you know, be baptized and, and, and confess Christ as their savior. And they um, want to go through the submersion process. However, they're not clean. Right. They're not fully right. clean. Is that where this book lies yes. in? Talk to us a little yes. bit about this book. We have to understand that none of us are clean um, e ever, and we mm -hmm. never will be. We'll mm -hmm. never be perfect. Mm -hmm. There is a, a journey, a process. Mm -hmm. And um, this book, it, this is a book of short stories. Mm -hmm. um, they all chronicle true stories. The first one um, that I wanted to talk about is about Alexis. Okay. And this speaks about incest and families, and then it talks about forgiveness. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't think that the two of those could go together, mm -hmm. but they absolutely and do. And here's the thing, they it's true, and, and, and that's the thing, we need to stop um, acting like these things don't right, happen right, in our families. Right. There are people, cousins with cousins, right. and uncles touching, you know, right. and doing things, mm -hmm. and that it's reality, right. it is life, and until we are ready to face it, mm -hmm. until we're ready to address it, we're not gonna be able to that's defeat right. it. We're not going to be able That's to right. keep going. The truth will make us free. That's it. That, and that, that is, is it. And that is basically what, what all of the story is about. But the first one um, about Alexis mm -hmm. um, and that story that I mentioned, um, that w that is actually my first uh, stage play that I'm working wow. on currently right now wow. with uh, Katasha Blackwell. Awesome. Being mentored Shout by out the to great. Shout Katasha Blackwell. <laughs> being mentored by the great <laughs> Solandia Hammond. Wow. Oh, yeah. Sue Ham, baby. Yes, just came from that. Right. Let's shout out to Sue Ham. She That's actually right. just came from um, the, um, the Steve Harvey mm -hmm. show. So she's been out really doing her thing. So we salute right. her and an excellent playwright at That's that. That's right. So to authors out there, because there are a lot of people who have the desire, who want to write books, who want to make a difference. What do you say to them? How do they get started in this business? Well, um, like I said, it's not something that I chose for myself, more so something that was given. Mm -hmm. um, but... How I, how I did start was I just wrote out a, uh, a outline mm -hmm. um, so that I wouldn't get off topic in the, in the chapters. Mm -hmm. um, doing plays is very different. Mm -hmm. um, what I do is just write the story and then I go back and cut it down. Because I'm a, a writer, I write novels right. and so I'm very detailed. Mm -hmm. You can't be that detailed in, in plays because it'll be too long. Right. So um, just go back through, reach out, network. Mm -hmm. um, one of uh, Sue Ham's favorite things to tell me is get in the room. That's it. Network, mm -hmm. connect your, yourself to mm -hmm. people that have already mm -hmm. done well um, and that don't mind sharing, because everybody don't mind. Right, everybody and people don't mind share. sharing. One thing that I often share with people is always be teachable and adjustable. That's right. And you'll never become outdated or irrelevant. That's you have right. to be a lifetime learner. That's so it right. doesn't matter. Here's the thing, what Toya's saying. Yeah, I have three books, but I still have people helping me. That's and right. I'm still out there learning where can they go and purchase the oh, book man. because we got to get the people to That's get the right. book and it has baptized in dirty That's waters right. huh huh <laughs> where can they go get the book at um the books are currently available at barnes and nobles Outstanding. Um, available amazon uh book stand publishing mm -hmm. and all the all the big uh book distributors just google it it's That's there That's it's it. There. honey it's i love there. that just google me That's google right. me, That's right. google me. <laughs> Google me, I love it. Listen, it's available, and they can also um, reach out to Toya um, on Facebook, Facebook, social, Facebook right. and social media. That is there and for you. Man, we are so ink. proud of you. Come on, spill that. That's, that's right. it. That's spill right. It's coming, spill and we'll be looking for the play. Now, when the play comes, you're going to have to come and do a scene on the Jeffrey Lincoln oh, Show. Oh, I definitely will. Got to do I a scene for will. us. Listen, Baptized in Dirty Waters, it's available at Barnes & Noble, Amazon, and all of your local um, bookstores. Make sure you go out and support. Make sure you go out and get it. Listen, keep it right here. We're keeping it local all day 
day long. Chemistry Diamond is in the house. Do you have that supernatural faith? Huh? Did you take that walk when you got out of the dirty waters and stepped into the clean waters? <laughs> You're going to come out looking new. More is happening on the Jeffrey Lampkin Show. Your coffee cups are out. Your pinkies are out. You're getting lamped. Good morning. Cannon and Graves is a proud sponsor of the Jeffrey Lampkin Show. Located at 1837 Wilson Road in Newberry, Cannon and Graves has the perfect certified used car for you. Their extensive inventory has something in every price range, and they can get everyone financed, regardless of credit. All cars come with a warranty to give you the peace of mind you deserve. Come see Steve and Reggie, and find your new car at Cannon and Graves. Good morning. Welcome back to the Jeffrey Lampkin Show. Y'all, I told you we are doing it big in season six, but you've got to have the supernatural faith in order to do it. And I'm excited because my girl, Kimberly Diamond, is in the house. Hi, friend. Hi, friend. How are you? I'm good. Girl, you look good. Thank you. You look amazing. Come on here. Y'all, first of all, let, that, that, show, show the people. First of all, she's accessorized. She's pre wait, a, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait. You single? single? Oh, come on. And the hand is <laughs> empty. And she's an entrepreneur. And she owns whatever she has. Yes. I like that. Yeah. Talk to us real quick because, of course, Kim, you do a lot in this in this community. Mm -hmm. And people really respect you. They follow what you do. You know, I've been following you for a while. Even though I don't do all the stuff that she tells me I'm supposed to do, like that healthy eating stuff, we're going to get that <laughs> sooner or later. But you are very holistic mm -hmm. in your approach. You're very positive. You're very happy. What keeps you motivated to just live a whole holistic and positive life my faith in God wow. my supernatural faith in God wow. if you don't have faith in God you don't have anything wow. when you have ten dollars to your name mm -hmm. it gives you faith to believe that you have a million dollars is that super so tell us the difference because sometimes people you know hear faith I got faith I got faith but you're saying no you need to have supernatural faith what does it mean to have right. supernatural faith anybody can have faith mm -hmm. but supernatural faith means you believe that God can do the impossible even if you don't see it wow. supernatural faith to me is smaller than a mustard seed. Wow. Smaller. That means I don't know how, but I know it's going to happen. Right. And I really believe that it's going to happen. And I'm going to act like it's going to happen. And so you not only have you been doing the holistic living and the holistic eating and the clean and the healthy eating, and there have been times where I've actually, I'm going to tell you this now, I have done some of the things that she has posted on her social media sites and it works. You made a, um, a dish one time, I think it was just like um, lean ground beef and it had like um, string beans that were fresh, fro everything was fresh products and it tasted amazing. Mm -hmm. It was really good. Of course I added a little bit of salt. Don't judge <laughs> me. It's okay. Okay, I'm going to get that supernatural faith soon. <laughs> so you've been doing that. You're doing hair. But now you're doing your supernatural faith line. Tell us a little bit about the faith line. Supernatural faith, I wanted to do something for the people. Um, it started last May 2015. Mm -hmm. I wanted to encourage people to step out on faith and do whatever it is you want to do. Uh -huh. So first you have your supernatural faith. Okay. When you have your supernatural faith, you execute your plan. Then you step out on your supernatural faith and you speak it. Once you speak it, you mm -hmm. say, I can do whatever I want to do. That's if it. you want to buy a house, you go to the neighborhood that you want to live in, mm -hmm. anoint the property of the land you want to buy. Once you speak it. Don't you do that. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Walk to the property where you want it. Amen. This is the supernatural faith. So it's not just I want it. You can't Amen. just declare it. There are more. If you want it, then you have to. And I love the Bible because the Bible is set up like that. If you, then you. Mm -hmm. So you say go to the property. You want it. Mm -hmm. Go to the property. You anoint it. Amen. You anoint it. No matter what the creditors say, no matter what your naysayers say, mm -hmm. if you know this is the house that you want, the land you want to build your house mm -hmm. on, you uh, you anoint your land and say in the name of Jesus, Woo. I speak it. Yes, so Lord. once you activate your supernatural faith, you speak it. All you have to do left is trust God. Honey, and then what you need to do is you need to call Kim and get you one of these shirts, huh? <laughs> you need to get one of these shirts. You need to walk around. So it's a, it's a reminder. Because sometimes we need to be able to look down at ourselves and, you know, say, that I'm a reminder of what I'm going through or what I'm dealing with. So you got your supernatural faith. Now, some of them, because, of course, I see the breast cancer mm -hmm. tag on there. How does that line? And talk to us a little bit. Do you know okay. someone that was affected by breast cancer? My sister. Okay. Woo! She survived. Come on! Hallelujah! Yes! She is and it's October, so it is Breast Cancer Awareness yes. Month. She's a five-year survivor, okay. and we have a shirt line um, for my sister. The I front says that. Supernatural Faith. I love that. The back says Rose Believer. She wow. is, her name is Rolandra. We call her Rose. Okay. 
So we will be wearing this at the breast cancer walk. Okay. We have like a team of 50 people okay. that are going to wear her these shirts. When is the breast cancer walk? It is October the 22nd or the 23rd. The 22nd, the Palmetto Saturday. Health Foundation. Mm -hmm. They're doing the Palmetto Health Foundation is doing the breast cancer walk. And so definitely you want to be out there. You want to be, listen, you need to get you a shirt. You can wear it to the breast cancer walk. Where can they go to find your products and actually okay. um, get involved? You can go to Supernatural Faith, like the shirt mm -hmm. says, supernaturalfaith.com. Mm -hmm. um, you can follow me on Facebook at Kimberly Diamond. Like the diamond ring that I don't have yet, but I speak. <laughs> it's coming. I, I trust God. Pray okay? over the hand, huh? <laughs> pray over it. Right. Um, and you can also follow me on Facebook at Supernatural Faith by Chemistry. That's it. And so I also, I do want to share real quick. I know that we're talking about your t-shirt line, but you do hair, mm -hmm. your holistic living. Where can they also, you know, make appointments, get in contact okay. with you? Because I think my thing is, is that it's not just what you wear. It's how you look in it, how you feel about yourself. And this is one lady that can help you get to that place. Right. So how can they right. reach you for those things as well? The salon is Chemistry Natural Hair Salon. Mm -hmm. um, it's Chemistry, K-I-M-E-S-T-R-Y, ChemistryHairDesign.com. You can follow me on Facebook at ChemistryNaturalHairSalon.com. If you can't remember everything I said, just type in Kimberly Diamond. You can Google me and everything will come up in Google. And I love that, that she deals with natural hair because there are many out there who are doing natural and natural needs to be your best, not a mess. So <laughs> definitely make sure you reach out to Chemistry Diamond, huh? And get it together. <laughs> Listen, Kim, thank you so much for coming. Reach out to it. Listen, I'm coming back with closing thoughts. Your coffee cups are up. Your pinkies are out. You're getting lamped. Good morning. Clemson Tigers football coverage, Wednesday nights at 11 on Solid Orange. Wow, what an amazing show. Y'all, I had a ball as always. Listen, make sure you go out and support all of our entrepreneurs who were on this morning. Author Latoya Pugh, she has the books that are available. And then, of course, Kimberly Diamond, who has the Supernatural Faith and t-shirts that are available as we get ready for the Breast Cancer Awareness Walk. That's going to take place on October 22nd and is um, sponsored by the Palmetto Health Foundation. I want to give a shout out real quick to DMR Fashions for my t-shirt because I really, really love this t-shirt. It's ruler, but when I think about what chemistry said and I think about just things that as, as I live in life I always tell people that you are the head you're not the tail and you have to really build that into your mindset and into your mentality so as a man thinketh, so is he so guess what we've all made mistakes in life if you think about Toya's book where she says baptized in dirty waters there have been times that we've stepped into things and we went into it in advance when we weren't ready for it and so when we came out we weren't fully clean but you can always start back over again but you have to put your mentality and your mindset in the place that I can actually make the changes that I need to make and do the things that I need to do. I often tell people, do you put a car in reverse and expect it to go forward? No. So what makes you think in life that you can continue to look back at all of the things that you messed up and all of the things that happened to you and expect that you're going to move forward? Go ahead and settle it. Establish yourself. That's what Hillary Clinton did at the debate this week. She accepted it. She said, you know what? I made a mistake with my emails. She took responsibility for it. Take responsibility for your past actions. Tell yourself, you know what? I've got supernatural faith to believe that I can turn this thing around and that it's really going to work for my good. And then I'm going to start walking in the authority and the power that God gave me. And guess what? There are going to be people who are not going to believe that you have the ability to do it. But here's the thing. All you need is the faith, the size of a mustard seed, and the belief that God will carry you through it. And some great things will happen for you. Next week, we're back again. Another show, same time, same place. Stay tuned. Cynthia Hardy is up next, but your coffee cups are up, your pinkies are out, and you're getting lamped. Good morning. <laughs> Somebody turn the lamp on.